Dean moves in. Van Tillen winds in through the top and shoots, scores! Lucic snaps that pass in for Van Tillen walking. Oh, what a move! Van Tillen scores! An incredible goal! What a snipe! This is just stuff you cannot teach! <laughs> Welcome in. We're very pleased to be joined by Adam Fantilli. Welcome, Adam, to, to Studio 6 here at TSN. And thank you for bringing all of your ice. <laughs> You're all iced out right now. And I wanted to ask you about both of these medals. You won them both in the same year. You're 18 years old. What do you think five or six-year-old Adam Fantilli would think of you winning both a world championship and a world junior championship in the same year? Yeah. First of all, thank you for having me on. Uh, it's, it's really cool to be here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, it was always a dream to play in the World Juniors, and uh, I had never really thought about the World Championships until I got that call. And being able to play on a team with, with such established NHL guys and guys that have been in the league for so long was awesome just to learn from them. And, and I think five or six year old me wouldn't, wouldn't really believe that I was in that type of locker room and in that type of setting. So it was, it was definitely a special moment. Yeah, well, you took the call and you definitely made the most of it. You got that big goal versus Latvia to send Canada to the finals. What do you think about when you think back on, on that goal and how many times have you watched it back since? Uh, well, I've watched it a few times. Um, when I think back and watch it, it's, it's more, I grew up being a Bruins fan and, and I watched them go through that 2011 cup run with, with my dad and um, obviously to have Lucic pass the puck and um, for it to go in after that, it was, it was really special just the way it went in. Well, now we're looking ahead to the draft, and Craig Button has you going second overall to the Anaheim Ducks. So what have you learned about the Anaheim Ducks? What do you remember about your interview with them at the Combine? Uh, it, was, it was good. I mean, all of them are extremely nice people, all the people that were in the room there in Buffalo, and uh, I really liked talking to them. They were all extremely nice, and um, obviously I, I, I've gotten to know Zegers a little bit through uh, training at the gym in, in Plymouth there. So. Um, all the guys there seem really nice and, and, and everybody that I talked to was, was great. So it's going to be exciting. Yeah, seems like an awesome young group in Anaheim. All right, let's do some ranking now, Adam. Let's take a look at some firsts that you had this year. So you scored your first NCAA goal. Here it is. You had your first, wait for it, NCAA fight. Not too many second overall picks doing this, but you mix it up anyway. And you threw the first pitch at a Detroit game. Your most memorable first this year out of those three. <laughs> Uh, prob probably the first goal. Uh, that was the one that I was most happy about. Um, I probably put the fight at number two, and even though it wasn't too much of a fight, but um, and the pitch at number three, that was awful. That was that wasn't much of a display of athletic ability there. So. Well, they didn't let you go on the mound, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, at Michigan's field, I was training on the mound and got used to throwing it downwards. And when I when I got to the to the field at Comerica Park, they were like, yeah, like only the pitchers are allowed to step up there. So I just didn't want to throw it in the dirt. So maybe I just put it a little bit extra high out of, uh, out of cautiousness. So they kind of stirred you on that one. Okay, Grady Dick went 13th overall to the Raptors last night. Did you see his suit on draft day? Take a look at it. Your initial thoughts to this suit style. I did. I mean, <laughs> it's definitely, uh, definitely interesting. He's got, he's got quite the, the red bling going on. I don't know if he knew exactly where he was going with, with that type of outfit, but uh, he was definitely, he was definitely working it pretty good. Can you give us a sneak peek as to what you have in mind to wear in Nashville? Yeah, I got some some pretty special designs that I went through with my parents, and um, I got some names on the back of my vest, and, and I got pictures on the inside of the liner. So it'll be uh, it'll be pretty special to be able to walk up on the stage and, and bring all those people up there with me. 120 names, right? Yeah, something something close to that. Yeah. You got to have them all up there. Well, thank you so much, Adam, for joining us, and, and good luck in Nashville. Thank you very much.